Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Brooker Films, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you this really awesome editing tutorial, and this technique is a directional blur transition. So, once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we need to begin by just dropping two video clips onto the timeline. So I've got clouds and sunglasses. We're gonna drop them into a 1920 by 1080 sequence. And as you can see, this first clip just pans up to the sky. And the second clip is just me wearing some sunglasses. So we're gonna transition from this clip to this clip. So in order to do this effect, we need to go over to the effects tab on the left of Premiere Pro. And we're gonna search for directional. And in blur and sharpen, you should see directional blur. Drop directional blur onto the first video clip and we'll scroll all the way to the very end. Now in the monitor, you might see the second video clip come up, but don't worry, that's completely fine. We're still on the first video clip. We're gonna increase the blur length all the way up to a bigger number, so around 160, 170, and we'll create a brand new keyframe by pressing the stopwatch. Now we'll go back three keyframes and we'll pull this all the way back down to zero. So as you can see, moving forward, it just blurs out. So we want to do the same thing for the beginning of the second shot. So select the second shot, that is sunglasses, drag directional blur onto the second shot, make sure the cursor head is at the very beginning. We'll increase the blur length all the way up to that same number, so around 170. We'll create a brand new keyframe on blur length by pressing the stopwatch icon, and then we'll move over five or six keyframes and then we'll pull this down to zero. So if we play that back, we've got this really awesome directional blur, but of course the blur is going vertically, it's going up and down. So what do we do if we wanna make this a horizontal directional blur? Well, that's easy. All you have to do is change the direction of the blur by pulling on this. So if we want to make this horizontal, turn this from zero to 90. And of course, if we spin this around, we can fine tune this to find an angle that we're happy with but I'm gonna to keep to 90 for now to change that on both video clips. So the first and the second should now be the same direction. And when we play this back, there we go. That directional blur is happening. It's a really awesome and really seamless transition. It's super easy. And there you go. That is the directional blur transition right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.